Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Victoria. I am like real pregnant right now, okay? Uh, 37 weeks pregnant to be exact. My Lord. Those are our dogs that you hear. Okay, and I normally film videos with my little sister, Alexandra, who has Williams Syndrome. Oh, there she is. Hi! I was gonna do a bedside nursery tour since it is complete and I'm having a baby next week on Tuesday. It's my last week not being a mother and then like next week I'm gonna be in charge of a full life. Just a disclaimer, this is not an aesthetically pleasing video like all the other videos you're gonna see on YouTube. Um, This is real life and I'm a first time mom and I have no idea what I'm doing. However, I will say I have watched... I'll talk to him. You gonna talk to him? Yeah. All right. Let me go check the door. Ugh. I just got back from Wyoming, which was so, so fun. As I was saying, if you're looking for someone with some experience, it's not me. Um, I'm a first time mom freaking out, but I, I feel prepared like in the things that I have for her. I'm just not like mentally prepared. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just freaking out. But anyway, let's get started. All right, so here we are on my side of the bed. This was my husband's closet. We had to take the door off because we couldn't open it because of the bassinet. I'm sure this will end up being like over here by me, but for now it's right there. And here is my little caddy. Erin from Oregon actually sent me this caddy off my registry. So super, super thank you to her. I have my diapers. These are the Pampers Pure diapers. I think the patterns on these are so freaking cute, which is part of the reason why I wanted them for like cute reasons, but we'll see how functional they are. I also have this Hakka that everyone says you have to have to have. And then in here are nipple creams. Is that gripe water, saline drops. I don't know what this is. Gas relief. And then I have um, vitamin D supplement since I do plan on breastfeeding. Moisturizing cream and then this little, whatchamacallit, diaper rash spatula. Um, there are some other things that are in here. I have like the Earth Mama butter and then some Boudreaux's butt cream, but I have that packed over there, which is my hospital. Hey, Rustin. Hospital bag section over there. Some passies, which I'm missing some because they're in my hospital bag. A little passy clip. Let me just tell you you mamas that are in your third trimester and it is so hard to breathe. Okay, so down here, this is a little muslin swaddle. These are some like flannel receiving blankets. A girl I watched on YouTube said that these were the best. You can use them for blankets. You can swaddle them, use them as burp cloths. They're super absorbent. The patterns are super cute. I think this is like the cloud brand or something from Target. I got a whole bunch of them, which I'll show you guys when I do like her nursery tour. I have some little muslin burp cloths. This is a Velcro swaddle onesie that has the hands and the feet covered. Let me just tell y'all, this cat thinks all of this is for him. He sleeps in her bassinet. I have to rewash all the sheets before next week because he has been sleeping in there. This is my cat. His name is Kovu. He's 11. I've had him his whole life. I just groomed him because I wanted everyone to be freshly groomed for the baby. Uh, but he's going to go stay with my parents the first couple weeks that the baby's here. And Rustin is also gonna go stay with my parents for a couple weeks just so I can get in the flow of having a newborn baby. And then like, it stresses me out that he sleeps in her bassinet. I don't want him sleeping in her bassinet when she's here. All right, back to my second shelf. I also have, okay. I also have this, a um, like a, a leather or faux leather, or whatever, changing mat. So I figured I would just get this and change her in the middle of the night, like open it up and throw it on the bed since it's like slick and easy to clean. All this stuff I got off Amazon. I can have it linked below if y'all are also new mamas. I had a couple other of these onesie night pajamas, but they're also in my hospital bag. And here I have this bulb that everyone said you had to have because this part like comes open and it's easy to clean. The Frida Mama nose sucker. Thermometer. Oh, these are nipple shields. I actually need to put that in my hospital bag. This little gas thing that I just realized that you like put in their butt to help relieve gas. This little boogie picker. This is my third shelf. Um, I have a manual breast pump. Some breast milky bags. And then back here, these are those hot cold compressed for your boobies. I have some disposable 
um, nipple pads in here. Also, all these containers I got from Walmart. And here are some washable nipple pads. Um, I left this empty because my breast pump is supposed to be coming in the mail, I think this week, actually, from my insurance company. So I'm gonna put my breast pump right there. Moving on to the final shelf. When I posted to Instagram about things to put on the shelf, y'all all said snacks. You were like, you're gonna be super hungry, breastfeeding, get snacks. So that's what this is. I have fallen in love with the body armor, specifically the light body armor because it has no sugar added, it's zero calorie. Um, it has low carbs because the, for those of you that don't know, um, I do have gestational diabetes. So I drink a lot of these. I really like them. They fill me up. The kiwi strawberry. Got a bunch of them. Peach mango is one of my favorite. Blueberry pomegranate. So those are in there. Also a bunch of people that I watch say that the body armor is really good for breastfeeding and keeping everything in your body hydrated. So um, I got just some little snacks, some trail mix, some kind bars in here. Um, I don't want to take all this out. Back there, I got those lactation cookies as well. I feel pretty good about this. Like, I feel like I have a lot of what I'm going to need other than just like restocking things that I have already taken out of this cart to take to the hospital with me. Um, oh, over here, I have this Ubi pail for diapers and things. I actually do like this a lot. Um, the only thing I wish, I just wish it was like taller lord let me get up off the ground oh my gosh i gotta catch my breath the struggle is so real so here is this little section um up here i have more of the stuff that i got put in my hospital bag i have a little wipe warmer here for her i heard this is 50 50 people either love or hate it so we're gonna find out i also got this humidifier for her as well i really like this one it's super easy to use and fill up it's like dummy proof and i will say even though i got this for the baby i have been using it every single night because since i've been pregnant my skin and like inside of my nose have been so dry especially now that it's winter not that it's cold here in louisiana it's like in the 70s but it has really been helping me so if you're having like dry skin and like crusty nose like me since i've been pregnant get a humidifier the rest of this is like dog and cat treats and then some of my insulin stuff and then over here we have her little bassinet let me just say I had the like bedside bassinet that like scoots up next to the bed. You're supposed to just be able to scoop them out and like put them in the bed with you. It was like $200. I do not think it was worth the money at all. It was super rickety and our bed is pretty high off the ground. And so it just, it wasn't tall enough. I got this one off Amazon for Black Friday. I think it was like $60. It's super sturdy. Like I can barely wiggle it. It also has this like underneath thing. You can put stuff down there or you can just take it out and not have anything down there. I have one of her blankets in here. Like I said, I gotta wash all this because the cat has been sleeping in here. I did get a Snuggle Me because everyone said they are amazing. The covers for these things are like 50 bucks and I refuse to buy a cover that's gonna get pootied and peedied on for $50. So I found these like dupes off Amazon. I think it was like $20. I also got a muslin one. I don't know why it looks yellow. It's kind of like a vanilla color. And that's her little bunny that her cousin got her. It's not going to sleep in there with her, but it's just cute for now. You don't even know what's about to happen. There's going to be a little human baby. What are you going to do? Um, I also got this on Black Friday because these are normally $80. And I think I got it for $65 or something like that. Dude, this is not about you right now. This is the Dreamland baby, like the weighted swaddle inside here. It has like little Velcros to Velcro their arms in. And it is pretty long. It's supposed to be zero to six months. And then it has these little buttons here that their arms can come out. Or you can button them up. And then my nightstand, I just have a bunch of my drugs. <laughs> if you're new here, I've had like the worst nausea and not even morning sickness. Just like sickness, period. Like all day. I also put a basket down there for any like extra stuff I want to put in there. So we did end up getting the hatch. I actually really do like this. So you touch it and it comes on. I have it set for this yellow ambiance light. The only thing, I might be dumb, but I feel like I should be able to touch it and it like go off, but it doesn't. I have to log into my phone and turn it off or turn it off from the back. If y'all have this and there's like a trick, I wish I could just like double tap and it turn off. Anyway, let me know. There's an easier way to turn this thing off. All right, well, that is about it 
for the bedside nursery. I do feel really good about this just because I have watched so many videos. You guys have helped me out a ton. Like, thank you more than you realize. Y'all, I am sweating. Just from filming this video, I am so ready to get my body back. One of the hardest, <laughs> I've had some some hard things this pregnancy but one of the hardest things has been like my mind I want to do all this stuff and I have all this stuff I want to do and I have these lists like okay today I'm going to do this 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 and this I'm going to get this done like I feel great mentally but like my body cannot keep up at all <laughs> I usually will like accomplish a couple things on my list and I just can't I gotta lay down it's very frustrating for me at least anyway if you made it through this video thank you so much if you're a first time mom I'm learning that it takes a village and I am totally okay with that. So we're just gonna all be in a village together. As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. This is our last week with no baby. <sighs> Remember to stay weird and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.